Hey YouTube, what is happening? This is Nav and today I have an exciting unboxing to do. The Moose 3D printer, CNC carver, as well as a laser engraver. That's right, this is a three-in-one machine. It's got three interchangeable heads, which was kindly sent to me by the guys over at Moose.co, namely Brian and Nick. So thank you very much, guys. I can't wait to see this device in action. However, just bear in mind that this is a prototype that they've been that they sent me, so if this device has any problems just bear in mind that this is not the finalized version so without further ado let's get straight into this box so i'll get my knife and open this box up okay so we first thing we got our trial filament which is 1.75 millimeter pla white got a simple usb cable UK kettle cable the power brick I believe this is for the CNC plate for the 3D printer and the three heads this is the CNC head. Wow, the quality is amazing. It's all metal, aluminium. Perfect. This is the laser head. And the 3D printer head. the filament holder printer base control panel cool some cables screws and bits and bobs against solid construction beautiful Okay, I think that's everything. So that's all the pieces out of the box. It didn't have instructions because they sent it me via email. However, even without instructions, it looks pretty straightforward. So without further ado, let's get this assembled. A few moments later. So guys, this printer was very simple to assemble. It took me less than 20 minutes to assemble it and I hardly even looked at the instructions. The first thing I did was level the printer bed and most of that was automatic so that took less than a minute. The printer volume is 120mm by 120mm by 120mm. So not huge but not too small either. I want to mention once again that the build quality of this print is outstanding. It's mostly CNC machined metal, so very, very sturdy. So after I inserted the filament, I did my first print of the Batman head. The control panel is pretty straightforward too. It's roughly the size of a small to medium smartphone, and the touch screen is quite responsive as well. The noise level of the print is acceptable and not too loud. I don't have a sound meter at hand, so I cannot measure the decibels. However, it was okay. Here is a short time lapse of the printer in action. And as you can see, the print quality is quite high resolution and I can compare the quality with my Flash Forge Finder, so very decent. Now if I was being picky, then the only thing I can say negative about this printer is that the wiring could be concealed a little, that's all. Now as you can see, this printer is very very compact when compared to the Flash Forge Finder. It's nearly half its size. 
Right, that brings us to the end of this video so if you enjoyed it, do hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe as there's lots more content coming up and also remember to hit that notification bell as you'll be the first to know when my videos are out. So until next time, take care guys.